guys. So today I am doing my pregnancy essentials video. Now this is my first pregnancy. I'm not an expert in it, but these few things that I have here are the things that I have been helping me so far through my pregnancy and the things that I use almost every single day. So I thought I would share it. I find these videos very, very helpful from other vloggers. So I thought I'd kind of give my input on the things that I like to use. So let's go. The first thing that is an absolute essential in life in general is water. This water bottle is an absolute pregnancy essential. I read that in pregnancy you need about five, no, eight to ten eight ounce glasses of water, I believe. I believe it's eight to ten eight ounce glasses. This is a 40 ounce water bottle. So in just one of these water bottles, you already have five of those eight ounce glasses that you need. And I try to drink at least two of these a day. I've been really good at drinking two, if not more. And this is, wow, this is just the iron flask water bottle. And I got it off Amazon. It was decently cheap. And I've actually had this for quite some time, way before I got pregnant. And I love it. It's fantastic. Okay, my next few pregnancy essentials clumped together into one group, but they are tea. <laughs> it's tea. Tea has actually been one of my cravings. I know it sounds weird. You're craving tea. Yes, I am craving tea, but tea, essential, especially at night. Pregnancy insomnia is a real thing. I will wake up in the middle of the night, anywhere between three and five, and I will be awake. Without fail, I am awake. I try to drink chamomile before bed, and then I just went to Target and I found this tea. It's called Nighttime, and it's oat flower, lavender, and lime flower. Never heard of oat flower or lime flower, but it says nighttime and it's an herbal tea. So I'm gonna try this one out tonight actually, but tea before bed has been a life saver. It chills me out, it relaxes me. Although it doesn't help me sleep through the night, those first few hours and falling asleep when I have my restless legs, when my belly is in the way, it just calms me, it relaxes me, and it's so nice to feel so relaxed and so calm, <laughs> even if it's just for a few hours. But tea, tea is a must before bed. And then the other two teas that I have are for later in pregnancy. So this one is mother's milk. It helps with lactation but I was reading that you shouldn't start drinking this until about 35 weeks. So this one is one that I just, I saw it, I bought it, I'm gonna save it for later. And then the other one is raspberry leaf tea, which I have seen a lot of people use to help kind of start labor to get it moving. And so it helps with cycle support, menstrual cramps, during pregnancy to help prepare the womb for childbirth. Again, I did read you should not start drinking this until at least 32 weeks. So I still have a few more weeks, but I just wanted to stock up on these two, have them, have them ready, and we'll see how they go. Okay, my next pregnancy essential that I have really depended on it might be a little more of a placebo effect than anything, but that is my stretch mark cream. And in here I have a blend of coconut butter and body oil that I made. But these two things I depend on greatly, especially living in Chicago. It is freezing cold, your skin cracks, it gets dry, and it's an awful feeling. So lathering these on after the shower, after I take a bath, have been amazing. This I got at Target, it was decently cheap. I did 
a lot of research again on stretch mark cream and this one is one that kept popping up um, it has vitamin E argan oil shea butter and shea butter is also very very good for your skin so this one has a nice blend of shea butter and then like I said this I made it's just coconut butter and body oil I actually made this way before I was pregnant this is just what I use after the shower I'll put a little bit in the tub when I take a bath so I soak in it my skin feels nice and lathered while I'm taking a bath but these two things I have definitely been using like crazy rub it on my belly rub it on my butt rub it on my thighs everywhere that I think I'm gonna get stretch marks or have the potential of having stretch marks these two things are going on <laughs> okay next essential is one that is a very common pregnancy essential but that is prenatal vitamins now I use the ritual brand prenatal vitamins and I have been using ritual for probably this whole year so I actually started the women's everyday ritual vitamins earlier this year and then of course I got pregnant so I got these prenatal ones and I love them they don't have a chalky taste to them they're not these ginormous pills that are really hard to swallow they have a really nice lemony taste to them and I believe they're packed with 12 to 13 of your essential pregnancy vitamins so it helps with um, the neural tube development of your fetus and it just gives you all the vitamins you and your baby need throughout pregnancy uh, ritual is a subscription and you pay like 30 bucks a month for every bottle you can pause it whenever you want you can stop it whenever you want but i think it kind of gives you the incentive to take your vitamins because you know you're going to get one in the next month so you better finish this bottle otherwise you're going to have bottles everywhere <laughs> So, ritual prenatal vitamins, I love. Okay, now these next two things I was kind of hesitant about doing because it is a little, they are more on the TMI side of pregnancy, but it is something that can happen in pregnancy and it's not your fault, it just happens. <laughs> okay, so the next two things are sits baths, bath salt. Now this is the Sit Soak bath salt and Tux medicated cooling pads. Now, what are these for? They are for the lovely hemorrhoids that pregnancy can cause. You're pregnant, there's a lot of blood flow that is going to your pelvic area. There's a lot of pressure down there. The baby gets heavier, thus causing more pressure down in this area and hemorrhoids are bound to happen these two things have saved my life I experienced it once for a week if not a little more and I'm telling you without these two things I would have died it is not fun it is not pleasant it hurts it is uncomfortable but within a week using this sits bath I just got off Amazon and these Tux medicated cooling pads that again I got off Amazon it they were a lifesaver a absolute lifesaver the Tux and the Sitz bath salts are also really good for postpartum to kind of heal up that area so I think it's a really good investment have it during your pregnancy just in case have it after your pregnancy just in case but these two things I would at 10 out of 10 I am telling you they are worth it if you're not gonna get anything else these these two things <laughs> okay heartburn and acid reflux in pregnancy are a real thing it hurts it makes you want to throw up it is the most awful thing I have never ever experienced heartburn or acid reflux until pregnancy and it is awful so Tums 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 
I take one before bed every single night because my acid reflex catches up to me in the middle of the night. That's probably another thing that wakes me up, but I have found that if I take one of these right before bed, my acid reflux is fine, my heartburn is fine, I am fine, I am golden. I keep these right on my nightstand. I also keep a bottle in my car just in case. The most random foods will cause it. I know foods that are acidic will cause it, but I try to stay away from acidic foods, but foods like bananas, uh, coffee, those things that I just love eating and I will continue eating causes it. So Tums by my bed, in my car, always, I will always take one before bed and I can sleep, you know, kind of. <laughs> now the last thing I am going to show you is more of just a, it's something that I really enjoy and something that isn't really essential but I enjoy. Extra large t-shirts. Everyone tells you stock up on your maternity clothes, blah blah blah, but maternity clothes are not cute, they're not easy to find, it's not easy to find cute maternity clothes, so I bought extra large t-shirts from Urban Outfitters and they are amazing. They don't ride up my stomach because they're too small, <laughs> my stomach doesn't poke out of them, obviously buying extra large it's gonna fit perfectly. But these from Urban Outfitters have really been awesome. I've really been loving them. I wear them around the house. I'll wear them out. I can dress them up. I can dress them down. Do whatever you want. But extra large t-shirts have been an awesome pregnancy essential for me. And really besides the t-shirts and <laughs> everything else, that is all for my pregnancy essentials so far. So far, if I come up with more things, if I find more things that help me, I will obviously do another video. But for now, that is it for my pregnancy essentials. And I will see you for my next few videos that will come out very shortly that I have planned, some I have recorded. So those will be out soon. I'll see you later. Bye.